Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we are going to understand agglomerative clustering in rapid miner. So, agglomerative clustering is a type of hierarchical clustering algorithm. It is an unsupervised machine learning technique. By unsupervised, I mean to say is we don't have to specify the target variable or uh, also known as a dependent variable. It divides the population into several clusters, such as data points in the same cluster are more similar, and data points in different clusters are dissimilar. Now, how we can do this agglomerative clustering in rapid minor? Let us see. Here also, we are having two approaches one, the top down approach, and another is bottom down approach. Top up approach and bottom down approach. So, say for example, we are having a data A, B, C, D, E. Now, when we run the cluster, analysis say for example the the first cluster is abc and second is d again in third iteration we are having ab and then d now this type of plotting is known as dendrograms so if you move from bottom to down it is known as agglomerative clustering and when you come from top to down it is known as a divisive clustering now how we can do this in rapid minor let's see first of all let us load the data set and here i want to load the data set that is md cars i'll connect this data set with the result press the play button and you will be able to see the attributes which are there in the data so you can see here we are having model miles per gallon cylinder displacement horsepower d rate weight of the vehicle Q sec, the vertical and straight engine, automatic and manual car, number of gears, number of carburetors. Now we want to run agglomerative clustering here. So again, I'll go in the attribute uh, operator window and I'll select the attributes. Why it is necessary, let us understand. It may be possible that your data set may consist of many variables and all of them are not matter of your interest. First thing. Second thing is, it may have the text or a string variable. And because of this, your algorithm will not run properly. So select the attributes, subset it, select attributes from here. First of all, select all of them and transfer it here. Now, the model here is a string variable. You can see its icon. If you remember, it is the name of the cars, the brand of the cars. And therefore, we have to not, we, do, we should not include such variable in our model. So I'll remove it, apply. Now, I'll directly go here in the operator and activate agglomerative clustering and drag it and drop it here. You can connect this example with the result window and the cluster with result window is already on. You can specify from here which method you want. That is a single linkage, complete linkage, or average linkage from here. And you can also specify that the distance between the cluster is to be calculated on what basis. So here, there are some measure types and mixed measures. Now just place, press the play button. And the results are ready. Now the thing which you have to see here is, first of all, you directly go into hierarchical model clustering. And here, you should go in graph. So in graph, you can see how the clustering has been done. But here, the visuals are not so clear. So for this purpose, you will go in dendrograms. And how, uh, how the attributes have been divided, you can get the clear feature from here also. Now, what are the elements in each dendrogram? For that, you will have to go in the folder view. And one by one, where you will start opening the folders, you will come to know that how the division has occurred. So when you will open this folder, you will come to know what are, the, what are the cases which are included in this dendrogram. Now, if you feel that, that the uh, agglomerative clustering has, has gone for many clusters. There is one more algorithm which you can run. Again, you go in design 
and activate the flatten cluster and drop it here. Disconnect this lines. Connect cluster with the hierarchy. Example with the example. Flatten with the result. Now, when you will press the play button, the solution which you get is a three cluster solution. Why you got three cluster solution? Because if you go in design window and if you activate this operator, it is three cluster solution. Okay, let us come back here. Let us run the play button. When you will see in the folder view, which are the elements in the cluster 0, cluster 1, cluster 2, you will come to know. So, this is a way you can carry out agglomerated clustering with the help of flattened clustering in Rapid Miner. For more videos on Rapid Miner, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. I have already uploaded many videos of Rapid Miners. Kindly see my playlist. Thank you.